I would like to read several quotes. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla My brain is only a receiver. In the universe, there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. Earth is a realm. It is not a planet. It is not an object. Therefore, it has no edge. Earth would be more easily defined as a system environment. Earth is also a machine. It is a Tesla coil. The sun and moon are powered wirelessly with the electromagnetic field, the ether. This field it also suspends the celestial spheres with the electromagnetic levitation. Electromag levitation disproves gravity because the only force you need to counter is the electromagnetic force, not gravity. Though free to think and act, we are held together like the stars in the firmament with ties inseparable. Though these ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. Each of us is only part of a whole. But can anyone doubt today that all the millions of individuals and all the innumerable types and characters constitute an entity, a unit? Though free to think and act, we are held together like the stars in the firmament, with ties inseparable. These ties cannot be seen, but we can feel them. I cut myself in the finger, and it pains me. This finger is part of me. We are all connected etherically and electromagnetically at the heart. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The third of the seven universal laws tells us that nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates. The third and last of the immutable universal laws tells us that the whole universe is but a vibration. Science has confirmed that everything in the universe, including you, is pure energy vibrating at different frequencies. Everything that we experience with our five physical senses is conveyed through vibrations. The same applies to the mental realm. Your thoughts are vibrations. All your emotions are vibrations. Where unconditional love, in the sense of love for another, is the highest and most subtle of the emotional vibrations, and hate is the densest and most base, you can learn to control your mental vibrations at will. It is important to understand that our universe is created out of duality, negative, positive, female, male, North Pole, South Pole, night, day, etc. The universe doesn't speak English, it speaks frequency because we are spirits in a hologram. We are all part of a whole, oneness. You have the individuality, but we are all members of a single organism. It is important to understand our reality. Why is it important to understand our reality? Because if there is an agenda to mislead everyone, in order to make them easy 
to control and lie to. If they think they're on a ball spinning through space and that they can land on Mars, then they will look for answers that are completely unfounded and inaccurate and frankly impossible. If you understand that you're living in a flat earth realm on a dielectric plane of inertia of a torus field with a dome firmament above, you would never be fooled or tricked into believing that you could be hit from something called outer space. You would understand that space and outer space do not exist you would understand that there is a firmament dome above. You would understand if you looked at and studied and researched your reality that the stars above circle us. And you can prove that the earth does not spin and rotate. George Aries in the late 1700s tried to prove the rotation of the earth with, and with a telescope and water, he actually proved that the earth is immovable and stationary and that indeed it is the stars above that rotate above and around us. The North Pole here in the center never ever moves. It is the pole, the foundation of the celestial will the celestial stars, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning above us. And the sun also rotates above us, and so does the moon. The sun takes 24 hours to go around, and it can only light so much of the Earth's surface at a time. That's why it, there is night and day, and it takes 24 hours for the earth to circle above us and that is what we call a day and half of that 24 hours it is hiding lighting half of the surface of the earth while the other half is dark because light has a limit it's important to understand our reality because if you understand that the stars above are nothing more than lights and most of them are fixed but seven of them do move in a circle clockwise above us and like the moon and sun above us and they are just stars lights they're called fixed lights fixed stars but then the seven that move are called wandering stars or lights if you look through to the stars and the wandering lights with the telescope or a camera you can zoom in on Mars and realize that it is translucent and that you could never land on something that is that you can see through this is light not a terrestrial surface that you can land on and it's very important to understand that because when you understand that you understand that you could never land on this light. They tell you that they can land on a terrestrial, uh, that Mars is a terrestrial planet that you can land on when it's just a light that you can actually see through and it's translucent. So you could understand, when you understand your reality, you cannot be fooled and tricked and lied to so easily. If you understand you're in a flat earth realm, heart is an anagram earth is an anagram for heart because it is the middle realm when you understand that there's a dome above and that space doesn't exist you'll never fear of an asteroid belt that doesn't exist or a kuiper belt or meteors or asteroids these things can never and never have ever fallen down on us and can hit us. They don't 
exist. It's fear porn. Just like being an invasion from aliens is also fear porn and impossible and doesn't exist because space doesn't exist. Landing on Mars doesn't exist. It's a wandering star, a light. It is a celestial light that is translucent. The Earth is a Taurus field, just like your body and everybody's body is a Taurus field. It is made out of, our body is made out of light, dense light. The Earth is flat and has a dome and firmament above. Imagine trying to build a building on a surface that wasn't flat and imagine it was rotating and spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Imagine trying to build a building on that. <clears throat> it's a good thing that our earth realm is flat and immovable and stationary and not moving. And this way we can build buildings. Railroad tracks trains cannot go up or down inclines thankfully it is flat and they have to make tunnels notice that in this map the center here shows nothing but white snow and ice while an older map different map shows four rivers and more land The holographic nature is because of the electromagnetic fields. Notice how these magnets can create what looks like an ostrich here or an owl here. Everything, all form, everything comes from the Taurus field or the big apple. See the tree here? See an apple? All forms, all shapes, all sacred geometry, all Fibonacci ratios, all hypochondroid, everything, all in nature, everything here comes from the Taurus field. Because we are in a hologram. The earth or the heart flat earth plane of the Taurus field should be more up here in this area. This right here of the earth should be right here to be more accurate in this meme showing the flat earth and then a human body uh, with the Taurus field uh, in line with its body and the earth's Um, the Earth's uh, dielectric plane of inertia. Our body, our nature, our field, our form, our physical form is created and generated by the Taurus field of the heart. And the heart is the true intelligence and its field magnetically and electrically dwarfs the brains. Your, the soul nest in the heart in the fetus initially when coming into this world in the hologram. Courtesy Ken Wheeler and his research, we are able to see the nature of the electromagnetic field in ether that we normally would not be able to see. Notice the sacred geometrical pattern here in the field because everything comes from the field, our form of our body, the sacred geometry, Fibonacci ratios, everything comes from the Taurus field, as you can see here. Everything. See, notice the shape of an owl's face, and then notice the field here. And we are in a flat earth realm with a dome firmament above. 
time lapse shows you the motion of the firmament above. Aries failure failed to prove the earth moves and rotates, but yet discovered that the wheel in the sky indeed above us is turning. Everything that we experience. All right, I already read that. But let's go here to Ken Wheeler's work. Ken Wheeler, his research. Here he shows the nature and different motions of the Taurus field. Notice here the flat dielectric plane of inertia. Flat dome firmament. And then here, here he shows us, here you can see this coil here is wrapped with the conductive copper. This is fed here with electricity to generate a field on this permanent ring magnet here and there's a permanent ring magnet within the field here you can see it the attraction and repulsion south south north positive negative attraction and repulsion Attractive magnetic fields, repulsive magnetic fields, electric current electrons, light photons, and permanent magnetic fields in one experiment. Magnetic attraction, ferrocell, and plane of light. Magnetic attraction, plane of light, courtesy Ken Wheeler's research, were able to see these fields. And again, the Earth has it. And we have it. It's everything. It is very important to understand our reality. 